we're back again to our loom to begin weaving. Referring back to our cartoon, our first row of knots will be in blue. We'll begin to add the knots. I have marked a few of the left warps in blue as a reference from the other loom. We'll begin to add the knots. Once the row of knots is complete, we'll add a weft to keep the knots secure. Notice that the interlocking of the warp and wefts will keep the entire row secure as we build up, one row at a time. The edges of rugs are called salvages, where the wefts are wrapped before we begin the next row of knots. Later we will add an overcast, which helps with aesthetics and protect the rug from wear on the edges. Remember I used four warps on each side for the salvage. This rug will only have one weft for each row of knots. Some rugs may have two, three or more wefts for each row. Once the knots and the weft are added, we will use a pair of traditional scissors to trim the excess wool from the knots. I have just completed the second row and I'm adding the weft. Couple of things to mention. I'm using a simple jig to keep a constant length on the pile as I trim each row of knots. I'm also using a different pair of scissors which is more comfortable for my hands. Again, please focus on what needs to happen rather than how it's being done. Meaning, we need a way to keep the pile trimmed as evenly as possible which will help in the end as we finish the rug. Also, the more comfortable the weaver's hand, the faster the weaving process. I've completed two rows. Here's the back of the loom to help you see a different view of the knots as they're being added. We will again add a weft. This process will be repeated until the rug is finished. Pay attention to a weave pattern developing on the back of the rug as we continue to add rows of knots. Experts will always examine the back of the rug as the weave pattern will provide clues on where the rug was woven originally. 
Let me be clear. This rug is actually being woven by me in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I am, however, using similar techniques used in the city of Malayir in Iran. Although this rug is not made to exact in measures, actual rugs woven in this city all have similar weave patterns on the back, which is recognizable by experts. After we have woven five rows of blue knots, according to our design, it is time to add a new color to the weave. We will need three blue knots on either end and the rest will be red. After weaving four rows with red, we'll need to add more colors. We will count the knots accordingly each time and add the knots in appropriate areas. Color change is a critical part of rug weaving as you can imagine. A weaver is making constant decisions on what colors to use and where. The more complicated the design, the more complex the decision making process becomes. One of the differences in Persian rugs made in Iran versus rugs made in other areas is the variety of colors used and the harmony displayed in the final product. Here's how the rug looks halfway through the weaving. Again, notice the weave on the back of the rug. 